Hi all, I have yet another amazing game to show you of Leela Chess. This is Stockfish 6 against Leela Chess ID 467. This is the Silver Suite by John D. Uh, and he played some aggressive formatic openings for the engines to try out. So here, Stockfish 6 plays D4 and we have the Dutch defense. And in particular, we have the Dutch Leningrad variation of this fianchetto and this is something i've quite like playing myself occasionally a very very aggressive uh, flavor of the dutch defense both sides castle here c4 d6 knight c3 queen e8 d5 a5 also in chess based live book is knight a6 as well so a5 we have bishop e3 knight a6 queen d2 Bishop d7, rook fd1, c6, now knight g5. It's pretty pointless for white to take here. It's just giving black extra satin to pawns. I mean, it's it's basically an even possession. It's not that bad for white either, but it, it's not that ambitious. Uh, so knight g5 was played, h6, knight h3. So the h6 pawn is eyed here. On the alternative, knight e6, that can just be taken and that justifies the knight here, knight c7. Doesn't matter about h6 here. This position is even. So, okay. So after knight h3, we have king h7 protecting the h6 pawn. Knight f4, g5, very aggressive g5, knight d3. So is black overstretching the pawns here? c5 there was a positional threat of bishop b6 here just to put that on the board say rook b8 bishop b6 this is really annoying look at the a5 pawn's a bit of a liability as well so c5 seals that use of the b6 square for a moment queen c1 knight g4 bishop d2 knight b4 now is played knight e1 knight e5 hitting the c4 pawn White protects that, and now we have the aggressive a4. So this is really aggressive play from black. It seems as though white is in a passive state already, somehow. Uh, white played queen b1 now. On knight takes a4, this is just, you can see that structurally, this is just going to be a wreck. There's no point really looking at this that much because yeah black's just got a big advantage in fact there that's the last thing white wants to do is to have structural damage in reaction to a form so we have queen b1 that this allows leela to install a kind of form pawn on the queen side a3 kind of hemming in the pieces of it so uh we have queen c1 queen f7 and now there's an idea of f4 just trying to break down the f file. e3 is played. Queen h5, rook b1. King g8 is getting out of this diagonal. So f4 looks to be more imminent. Rook a1, rook f7, rook b1. And both knights are looking at d3 here. And actually, we have knight e d3 swapping off a pair of knights. Queen c2, knight b4. Black's really in charge of the position here, it seems. And now plays a really aggressive move. I wonder if you can guess. If I give you five seconds to pause the video, black to play. Okay. It's pretty thematic looking. F4. So E takes F4, which you would think that was what that was designed for. Just you know, E3 to stop F4. But here we have Bishop F5, very dangerous. So looking at that rook and white actually ignores the attack on the rook and plays rook f1. If the rook moves, then knight d3. This is nasty. Attacking the queen, it's just it's not it's not very nice at all. Black is just smashing through. So there's a lot of danger here after bishop f5. Uh, we have. Uh, I mean, there's there's other possibilities as well behind the scenes. Things like this, maybe, as well. Bishop b2. Uh, so, uh, 
anyway, so we have rook f1, but black, Leela is not interested in just winning the exchange here. G takes f4 is played. It is it is possible just to take the exchange and get a nice position with this in any case. Like that's winning a piece there. And so what does what does white do here? Say knight b5. This is a big advantage for black as, as well. So already, you know, black's in a great way. Just has the luxury of a few different options. So g takes f4. Queen d1, looking at the queen. Bishop g4. And now queen e1. And this allows black to install another form pawn on this side of the board. It's as if white's been really kind of pressed down on both sides of the board. Now queen h3 plots the evil rook f5 to h5. Pretty standard maneuver. Hemmed in bishop here. So much pressure on f3. It looks as though f3 is not going anywhere. Queen e4 and actually the game was adjudicated here as a win for black. Uh, basically, it's totally lost for white. Rook f5 is an example. Uh, there's check, and we're going to have rook h5, which hits the queen as well. Uh, so this is just totally hopeless, as well as h2. So just, you know, you could just check me here. Uh, so that's absolutely uh, hopeless, this final position after rook f5. So, yeah, it looks as though... Lila Chess, when forced to play the Dutch Leningrad, doesn't actually play it that badly. It seems to be quite a thematically played Dutch Leningrad. It, it teaches us uh, some good patterns. So, uh, very, very interesting how Lila Chess can be used to explore different opening strategies uh, in these special kind of matches. So, this was set up by John D. Excellent game uh, and excellent games generally, which have been created. Hope you enjoyed it. Comments, questions, likes, shares, appreciated. Thanks very much.